The reason why I decided to do this program is because it's different. Teaching, you constantly want to learn. Instead of teaching summer school, I wanted to get more experience since I teach eighth grade physical science and the subject is basically lab and doing research and uh, pulling data, analyzing data. I wanted to get more experience with that and that would be me actually working in the lab and getting hands-on experience from real researchers. Here at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, our teacher programs are really focused on having teachers become researchers themselves. So they do an eight-week program where they are actually paired with a mentor. They do a project uh, that's actually doing research and then we have weekly meetings that help them to transfer that experience to the classroom. My approach as a mentor is to craft a uh, research experience for each, each teacher or other interns that's tailored to what they're interested in and the skill level that they bring to the lab. The lab considers it our responsibility to, to also train the next generation of scientists. Many of us think, and I think the Department of Energy certainly believes that the key to prosperity for the country is actually our scientific and technological inventiveness and innovation. To train teachers to understand science and communicate it with passion to the students who would be the next generation of scientists is really investing in our own future. The one project which you will now see is we are trying to help figure out what is the best set of fuel efficient stoves that should be taken to Haiti in the reconstruction effort. There are close to 100 nonprofit organizations actively trying to distribute stoves in Haiti, but they don't have any ability to test which stoves are how fuel efficient, and we have offered to do that. As a teacher, I've, I love this. It's great. It gives me an opportunity to stay involved with current science. In terms of bringing it to my students, like I could show them the way that what I'm teaching them and what they're learning is used in everyday situations for things that they don't really connect science with. Teachers come here to gain experience and develop their content knowledge and do research internships. We've developed our program based upon the input from some master teachers. And the, one of the things that they have told us over the years is science teachers need content knowledge. So our focus is on how do we get the laboratory content knowledge out of the research laboratories and into the hands of teachers so they can pass it on to their kids. So we have these master teachers who have learned the content. They teach the course and then we bring the scientists in for guest lectures, provide tours, and to talk about their cutting edge research. We're actually extracting our own DNA from our cheek cells and then we are putting that into PCR and we're magnifying or multiplying the DNA strands. I think our students are interested in things that um, relate to them, that they can say, hey, that's my DNA and I want to know what's going on. They can understand how they saw it on CSI on TV, then it's relevant to them. Being involved in the lab has allowed me to really develop a, a a much better understanding of how science is conducted. Before entering into this internship, I had never actually had a real scientific research experience. I got to conduct science and bring that experience back to my classroom as a science teacher that actually does science, which I think means a lot um, to the kids. And so I think it strengthens my profession to have this kind of exposure to real science research.